we are here with the ever so talented singer, mm -hmm. songwriter, and actress, Chrissy. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, you look amazing. <laughs> Thank so you. And talk about your album. So you actually, on October 15th, you released a 15-track album called Taken. So congratulations. Thank you. Amazing. So what was your inspiration behind the album and the meaning behind the title Taken? So oh, I would say my biggest inspiration is my husband, Giovanni. Oh. I wrote it. I wrote the album. Some of the songs are about my past. It's titled Taken. So I had a lot of things taken from me and now I'm taken, if that kind of makes sense. It talks a little bit about heartbreak and how I have, and how I have love now. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I love that. So Thank bring you. Past and present all together. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> did you actually release it on October 15th because it was a 15 track album? Did that have anything to do with ah, we, I, It was actually released October 16th. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I was like, this is going to be cheesy, but I'm definitely going to ask it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. And even on the album, you actually worked with some other incredible artists from Jay Book to and you worked with Marcus Houston. So what was it like getting to work with them? Working with Marcus is, I don't know. It was cool, but he's like family to me. He's my uncle. So I'm like, come on, come to the studio real quick. And he's like, okay, I'm coming. Oh, that's so <laughs> amazing. Thing. That's really cool to like have those connections like that. Thing with Jay Bug, he's family. So I'm like, come on, dance to the studio. He's like, all right, I'm on my way. And he's like, there in like 10 minutes. <laughs> I love that. And like when you work with someone that you really know, is the creative process different? Does it flow better or how does that work? I mean, it's a um, comfort level there. So it makes it better because right. you're comfortable, you know the person. So it makes it a bit different, I guess, like in a good way. <laughs> yeah. And you actually recorded the entire album during quarantine. So what was the creative process like? And do you feel like it helped with the inspiration behind the lyrics? I feel like quarantine in general just had everybody in their feels, okay? It had me in my feelings, like going, okay, I was going half crazy, but like, it was, it worked out my benefit because I ended up writing and like coming up with some like dope really good lyrics stuff. and stuff like that. So I like the quarantine. I think it helped because I don't know if I would have got into the flow. I don't even know if the album would even be here without the quarantine. Right. So, Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Creative people in general are very emotional, right? So they base yeah. a lot of things off of how they're feeling and obviously like quarantine was a very emotional time and your first single relax which came out on august 28th was written about your husband mm -hmm. um and your appreciation towards him so did he actually know that you were writing the song about him or was it a surprise he knew okay <laughs> i can't i can't hold water like i get too excited and i'll be like babe <laughs> I'm not right. to talk about you. <laughs> i totally get that i get it that's amazing <laughs> what, did, what did he think of the song Oh my gosh, he loved it. I played it for him in the car, like, as soon as I got done recording it. And he was like, oh my gosh, I love it. I'm like, you better love it. <laughs> you took better. Me, took, me hours, took me hours to do that. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, it's really beautiful, too, that, like, your first song that you did release did happen to be about him. So that's an amazing, that's beautiful. Ethan is also a visual album, and from even listening to the lyrics and seeing the videos, it gives me a very big throwback to 90s R&B vibe. So is that something that you were going for? Yes, yes, and yes. Because I feel like all this, all the music that's kind of new, I feel like it's starting to lose the 90s feel. So I kind of just wanted to try to bring it back a little bit. Absolutely. <laughs> I think it, no, you really, like, that is the first thing that I thought. Oh, thank that's you. That's amazing. And are you, you're a 90s baby yourself, I'm guessing. So is that why you resonate with that more? Is that why you wanted to bring that back? I like 90s music. Yeah, I mean, in the 90s was absolutely amazing. It was, it's time. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that's amazing. And your sound has actually been paralleled to the likes of Her and Snow Allegra. So what is it like being compared to such amazing artists? I love them. So it makes me feel happy because they're dope. So yeah, <laughs> I'd rather be compared to them than others. So I'm happy. <laughs> and you actually grew up with a father already in the music industry. So did yeah. you know that you always want to be a part of the industry itself? like my, my dad being you know Chris Stokes and all it was my normal and I just felt like I was meant to do it like I was in the studio on tour buses 
on set on movie sets so I feel like it just was my normal so it I feel in, like yeah, it was in your blood I just was like okay this is what I'm gonna do right, <laughs> that's amazing let's get into your acting now so you actually landed your first role at the age of 11 on Southland so what was it like being on set at such a young age and what was it like working with Regina King working with Regina King was amazing and it was fun because that that audition was different and it was the first thing that I had done that had nothing to do with my dad. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, so I went and I auditioned for myself and I actually booked a role for, yourself. for myself. That's cool. What a cool so piece. it was really like, it was really, it was gave me that validation that I needed. Right. <laughs> like, I okay, I can actually do this without. Exactly. <laughs> right, that's really cool. And so, but being so young on set, was that intimidating, Being especially being your first role? No, because it was like I was at home. I'm used to that. Like my dad is a director, so I'm used to right. being on set. So I just felt, yeah, I just felt like comfortable. Like, okay, this is cool. That's I like this cool. set. <laughs> you know, where you say you're working is at home. That's amazing. Your latest acting role was the lead Nikki in the urban mm -hmm. like series, Howard High. So what were some of your biggest mm -hmm. challenges you had to overcome while filming? And what was it like having your dad as your boss? I would say singing live and singing in front of like a lot of people that was and dancing also because although I did go to dance classes I'm a little bit more like reserved on the dancing part <laughs> so that was kind of interesting I'm not gonna lie but I did it and then also working for my dad it was really challenging because he was hard on me yes I'm I'm sure. yeah he was hard on me I'm like dang it, he, he, would, he, would call, he would call me out. He would call me out in front of everybody and I'd be like, Dad, <laughs> why are you calling me out? Wow. I'm sure you <laughs> a lot from it though. And like, especially like you said, overcoming the singing in front of people. I'm sure that helped you get confidence in doing yep. that in general and dancing. Yeah, yeah. But I would be embarrassed. It's like, Dad, pull me to the side. He's like, well, you're working now. I got to do you how right. do everybody else. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Some people to think that he was favoring you. So he probably thought it like by calling you out, people knew that. <laughs> <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> yeah. And is there supposed to be a season two? I I believe conversations are in the works right now. Amazing. So, no, I would love that. <laughs> really fun. I love all movies like that. It's kind of like a little like older version of High School Musical. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I love that stuff. It's amazing. That's really awesome. <laughs> Thank and you. so on um, back to your music, what streaming platforms can we listen to your new album Taken on? On all digital platforms, Spotify, okay. Apple Music, Tidal, the list goes on. And are there any other projects that you're working on that we don't know about? And also, I saw that one came out today, October 22nd, with your dad, correct? Yes, on BT Plus, yeah. a movie called, that we did called Triggered. I production designed that movie. It was awesome. Jordan Woods, Wesley, Jeremy Meeks, Oba Babatunde. So oh, that's, what a, that's, cool. that's really cool. Yes, a beautiful cast that just came out on BET Plus. So make sure you go check that out. I'm also working on my second album already. Oh it's wow, amazing. good for you! It's almost, it's almost done already. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. So what is the expected release date for that? I'm not okay. sure yet. I haven't went that far yet. I just was finishing up the song. I get it. You were just inspired and you kind of started going for it. Yep. While yep. I was in the zone with the first one, I didn't want to like stop. Right. So I was right. like, while I'm in the zone and I'm in that writing zone, I was like, I just want to keep going. <laughs> yeah, that's and do you, is, do you have like a certain flow for this album? Is it about something specific like the first one? It's love songs. But yeah. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty. So to end the interview, we always ask some random questions. So who is your dream artist to work with? Ooh. Ooh, Summer Walker. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, gosh. I love her. Yeah, that, <laughs> that would be an amazing collab, 100%. Yes. And what is your favorite cocktail on a night out? Like Moscow Mules. Okay, nice, love it. <laughs> but I ask them to like take out the vodka because I'm not really like a light liquor kind of girl. I'm more of a dark liquor okay. kind of girl. Okay, so what do you swap? I call them Hennessy. It okay. tastes amazing okay. yes okay got it. <laughs> and do you have any hidden talents that we don't know about i don't think i have none i know how to put my wig on <laughs> I gotta <laughs> <get that. laughs> well there you go that's a that's a talent i wouldn't be able to do that so that's 100 
percent of talent. <laughs> Love it. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with us, Chrissy. We can't wait to see this new album. I'm guessing we can keep up uh, with your social media accounts yep. to figure out when you release that and go and check out your latest album, Taken.